guess we're full up on Heridium now. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's keep the immersion breaking to a minimum here with the anti-gravity stuff. God, I hope they fix that. That'll work. Now, what the hell is this? And why is it fucking floating? Oh. It's... It's copper and it's floating. Okay. Accelerated fire signal. Load on cannon fires at an increased rate. Rapid modification increases potential damage, death, and destruction to the user's chosen targets. Iron and aluminum. Aluminum. Okay. So now we know the flashing blue lights are tech. So let's go see what that other blue, blue flashing light we saw in the distance was. Now that we have our heridium. Don't mind the popping. Oh, hello. Send how much stuff we've got. We've got plenty of room on the ship still, but let's go send the iridium and the gold. To get even more plutonium and the stuff we can't actually access. Fascination beam? I have a certain da da uh, David Bowie song in my head now. Okay. So I have no, no idea what the hell those are, but... Whoa! Let's not fall to our deaths just yet. As you can see, I get distracted by every goddamn rock in the road. As I say that, I also get distracted again. So, as you see, I'm a bit spastic. <laughs> but... We're making progress here, I suppose. What is this? Enhanced deflection. Heridium. So I'm gonna need more Heridium for that. That's extra shields for my ship. How about that? So we're gonna go get some more Heridium. Something's screwing with me out there. That was the thing with Belgast. It was... Calm, until it wasn't, and then horrible monsters came out of the woodworks to try and kill you. Hmm. But this place seems all right so far. There's some more iridium. Oh, there's more right there. Fucking poppin'. And assuming these, uh... Assuming these sort of gray and red rocks are copper... That's the zinc plant. That's iron. Okay. I suppose the ones that are floating are made of copper. Don't need that. As you can 
obviously anti-gravity is a normal thing on Bell. Yes. This place is rather qu uh, crowded for an undiscovered planet, don't you think? Here I am trying to explore the unexplored wastes of this random planet I happened to crash on, and, uh, yeah, the, um, the man is looking over my shoulder, apparently. Okay, we're good. That looks a little different, though. Hang on. What the hell is this? It's big, and it's a different color. I must know what it is. And also, our thermal protection is about to shit itself. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, go and uh, just charge that up. Or we will accidentally, uh... Look out of the inventory like an idiot. Okay. Blue crystals, huh? What are these? Oh. 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 Why Gora? <laughs> Alright. And apparently we have some, some sort of coyote deer of some kind. Diet, absorb nutrients. You don't fucking say. Chrysonite? I don't know what that is, but, you know, I'm a miner at heart, so I take everything that looks valuable and shiny. So where's this rock? I got my... Whoa, whoa. Hello. Oh. Well. That seems a bit interesting. Remnants of... <laughs> Apparently I'm being mind raped by random things on this fucking planet. Welcome to Belgast! Knowledge paves the way to understanding of probability. The Atlas spoke in fragments. The Atlas interface Interfaces are shadows. The monoliths are their scattered children. Together they convey the wisdom of the infinite. They must be understood. Okay. Teach me a language. Corvax word for rare. Huh. I have no idea what that word is, and there's no way to actually check what those words are, but okay. Oh, it's also floating. What the hell is it? Fuck if I can get to it, though. Jesus fucking Christ, this one's an overachiever. Ow. What is it? Oh, it's also copper. Ow. What the fuck is... Ow. What the fuck was damaging me? Okay. Yeah. I suppose Belgas is really a fucked up place, no matter where the hell it is. Get back to the ship. There it is. Uh, 
I don't think we can crouch, so I can't get my head through this fucking hole! Because why would we want to crouch or do anything? Thanium. There's no crouch. I guess No Man's Sky is not balanced for crouch. Oh. Oh, I forgot to fill that up, too. Oh, that was the problem. Gold? Looks like gold, but I can't trust the colors for anything in this fucking place. Get out of here, Sentinel. Okay. Yes, I know I live here. a minute away. I happen to be getting completely sidetracked yet again by every fucking little rock, pebble, and little dip in the road, but fuck it, we're explorers. This is what we do for a living. It is gold, so I was right. Just, uh, take a giant piece of this fucking nugget. Ships. Yeah, there's not a. I suppose gold is actually uh, rare and in small quantities. <laughs> Riches unknown to man are now mine. <laughs> You know, as long as I actually keep my shit charged. Ugh. Got plenty of throwaway resources. I suppose it's just a low detail, one of them... What? One of them giant floating copper rocks. Yes, thank you, Betty, for informing me of that every five minutes. Why does the mining beam seem to work faster when you're looking down? That's strange. It's a lot of gold. I didn't think it was that much, but, well, actually, it was a huge, giant fucking <laughs> nugget on the side of a goddamn hill, but damn, this vein goes on for miles, son. Miles. We've seen the end of it, though. What do we have? A lot. 
but not full the inventory slot yet. No, he keeps fucking going. Holy shit. Well, at least the, uh, at least the nighttime contrast is making it easier to see what's gold and what's just rock. Well, we're gonna be autistic about this and get every single little speck we can. Until the inventory is filled up, which we're not full yet, so we're gonna keep going. Wow, that just keeps on fucking going, doesn't it? So I'm not getting any more gold, so I think we actually ran it out. I think we're at the end of the fissionable materials, though. That's bad. Ow. Now what the fuck was that? Yeah, that's the last one. I suppose I, I got all of it and the rest of it's just sort of like... What is that? Yeah, it just seems like the rest of this is just artsy stuff. And I have dug a hole. So I'm now warm in my hole. Yeah, it's really easy to get disoriented in this place. Okay, let's get back to the fucking ship now. Even in space, I still have to take a breather for the sprint. Can't crouch, but for some reason they limited sprint. C is the scandal. That's quite a lot of things. And apparently there's an animal down there, but uh, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna keep on track here. Getting distracted again by fucking changing colors in the landscape. But I know where I can get Thanium. What do we have in the suit? Um, plenty of goddamn Heridium. Plenty of Plutonium to fuel all the launch thrusters. I think we're actually ready to go out into the space and see what we can find. Maybe we'll find a trading station. Or... Objective complete. I did refuel the launch thrusters, you dick. Okay, so... Save the game, just in case, but, um... Wow. Oh. 
Achievements! Ah! I was about to say, even the clouds on this planet are screwy looking. But I suppose that's the galaxy at large. But, I suppose it's time to leave this place and go see what we can find out in the solar system around it. We'll come back, though. There's plenty of shit to explore here. But, we'll W to take off. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, take control of my uh, my screen at every possible moment. And also, annoyingly, there's no way to actually look around at what I'm... Because it's a mouse control. God damn it. I can't look away from the fucking the center console. Alright then. Just... Here and see if we can find some sort of identifiable marker for where we just were. There's that, whatever the hell that is. The pop in is getting really, really obvious now, and that kind of doesn't look all that great. But. the controls here as well. I believe we were already there. So I need to go down there. This is really sluggish. Ugh. So where... Okay. Where were we? God, this game is fucking disorienting sometimes. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, we know we were somewhere around this area. There's also a cliff in the general area. It's really hard to... It'd be nice if I could just hover. That'd be nice. Without having to move around constantly and keep my eyeballs on a swivel. Ugh. Okay. Well... We know it's somewhere around here, but let's go up into space and see what we can do. You know, don't uh, don't mind me just randomly clicking buttons in the middle of flight. At least we know the guns work. in space. Elusive galaxy. It looks like a freighter over there. Now, if I know my shit, these are all made of thanium. Yep, there it is. Okay, we're gonna play asteroids here for a little bit so we can charge our pulse thruster. Where are we going, though? Space station. Okay. That's our first stop. And... Huh. Now that we have a chance to actually look back on where the hell we were... <laughs> Whoops. Well, I guess it seems like a pretty okay place. You know, it's cold and imposingly red, but well, that's home. All the brain crabs and the fountains of blood and all that stuff. And the floating copper monoliths.
that's a lot farther away than I thought it was. Good lord, my net perception. Well, that one's made of copper. You see, it's even floating out in space. <laughs> it grew tired of life on the ground and flew up into the stars. Alright, where's the space station? There it is. Okay, so. We keep going, and then we engage the pulse drive. Getting a little close there! Almost skipped into the atmosphere, Jesus Christ. Appear to have a distress beacon of some sort coming from either around that planet or on it. Um, we should probably go check that out, right? I mean, that's a, you know that that's that's like page one of the space rules. You have to go check out the, you know distress beacons. They'll revoke your space license if you don't do that. I'm sure this is going to be perfectly fine, and in fact, not the starting to magnetic rose. So let's go see what we can find. Hum and wind of post rock filling our ears. This is farther away than it led me to believe it was. Apparently, it's in space. we don't slam into the planet! Jesus! Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been bad. Um... Hmm. Okay, so apparently it's on the planet's surface. And this place looks... actually pretty barren looking. Oh, now we're entering the atmosphere. That's a research outpost down there. Black and green. This is a Necron planet. But I'll actually see uh, what it looks like when the sun comes up, I suppose. A lot of people down here for this distress beacon to be so you know just sitting going off and nobody really caring about it. What do we got? Alright. Yeah, I can see people are telling me it's kinda hard to land your ship because you can't see what's around it. I'm I'm noticing this now. Regular, abundant, fauna, absent. Okay, so what about this beacon? Huh, okay. Oh, it's radioactive, too. Great, awesome. And it's got, um... <laughs> apparently, jester, uh... Jester tentacles. Spewing out radioactive gas. Okay. This solar system is fucked. Oh, we'll get that in a minute. What the hell's this? Nobody here. What the 
What did that do? That was cool, but what did it do? Led me to an outpost? Um... Okay. Well, my inventory's full. So, we'll go over there and see what the hell that is. Once again, we're being distracted by every single little thing we find. But, that makes for an interesting let's play, I hope. I hope I'm not boring you to death, and I um, hope I'm not swearing too much, too, because I notice I'm doing that. But, whatever. I do what I want, and I try to make it entertaining. Okay, signs of life. Huh. Well, obviously they have a camp down here, and it looks perfectly fine, so... Why is this a thing that I need to find? I have no idea. This is kind of like walking into your neighbor's house and walking up to him and saying, Aha! I have discovered you! When, you know, he was just kind of there. Now, what is this place? Kilkadale? Oh! We got ourselves a TV head. Got me. No, we're completely out of resources. I suppose we'll. If we stop clicking out of the fucking inventory like that, I suppose we'll just, uh. Whatchamacallit? Okay, what do we got? Like how I can't talk to someone without actually, uh... I have no idea what the hell he... What? I, I cannot discern if this entity is flesh, machine, or both. He's just sitting there chilling out, checking his Twitter, bro. We don't need to analyze him that hard. Lights flicker across its visor, but it's motionless. It seems pretty, uh, pretty animate there. And its head nods mechanically, just once. It's nodded more than just once towards the slate nearby, with a start. I realize that I can understand the text on it. I look to the entity for answers, but it remains still and silent. It's silent, but not really still. I suspect it is a mere courier, not the author of this message. The slate contains the blueprint for a new technology, a hyperdrive. Oh. Calm blue lights dart across the being's mask, and it returns to dark. They're still on, bro! I like this, you know, riveting narrative that you're giving me, but the game isn't really... <laughs> it's really tending to it. Dynamic resonator. Okay, then. You, uh... You keep it real, bro. Oh, wait, what's this? Excuse me while I just sort of steal everything. Oh. Got all the stuff for that too. Yeah, so just um, don't mind me as I uh, rummage through all of your shit like a good adventure game hero. Just uh, stay there and um, you know, just chill out. I need a thingy for that. Oh, there's a galactic gear terminal here. Oh, we can sell shit here. So maybe I won't steal everything in your house. got here. Plenty of gold. That'll give us more than enough money to start. I suppose I can only sell what's in my suit and not what's in my ship. Okay, let's look at these ratings to see what more. What's more. What's the most valuable thing in this system? An effigy? Iron? Iron is going pretty well for this 
Iron's going pretty high, you know, you know, six, you know, plus six point four percent of the average. You know, we're making a killing here. Okay, it doesn't look like anything I sell. So now we're gonna go to that. Oh, hello. Take this. No, it's too expensive. Or can I? Click, 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 click. Ah, uh huh. Okay. I guess not. I'll keep this place in mind if I never need a new gun. But once again, this game is, you know, it's funny because this game is, uh, is a game that's primarily about mapping the star, star system and discovering things, but it's actual data logging stuff is kind of substandard and not really helping. Like, it's sort of like they just ex expect you to vapidly find shit and just keep finding shit and not really sticking around to understand what the hell it is. Or at least that's my interpretation so far. But, it seems like a perfectly alright game. Right now, what is this? Okay. Okay, that's the space station. So we're just gonna let's get ourselves up out of the atmosphere. Yes, the uh, the glowing uh, the glowing particles signal that we are in fact in space. So let's see what we got. I'll give the game, it is peaceful and calming, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing so far aside from, well, fixing my ship and selling things. But, I do like games like this. I mean, I like, um... I like games with, you know, trading and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure me going around and, you know, grinding up resources on planets and then going off to sell them is going to make an exciting Let's Play, but I do find enjoyment in that kind of stuff. I played EVE Online and I was basically a career miner. And, well, a, a bit of an industrialist, even though blueprints in that game were, at the time that I played it, really... Industrial, uh, was not exactly the most easy thing to get into. It was literally the spreadsheets of the spreadsheets, but I still enjoyed it for the time that I had it. And this is Belgas. Yes? Yes. So, we have a station... Right around Belgast. So apparently we have ourselves an entry port here. So let's go see what we can do. That music swelled up pretty hard, don't you think? Like, ugh! Yes! I am going to the store! Yeah! I need epic post-rock! Yes! Hello! I am come to browse your wares! Okay. Ship inventory. See, now I can sell shit from the ship. Okay. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? These, I don't know what the hell these are, and I'm just gonna sell them. This is actually, apparently, fairly valuable. Plant side outposts and facilities. Okay. Okay, now you see iron's doing shit up in this station, but it's doing okay bound down back in that planet. That's a bit strange. Fascination beat. There you go. 
I don't think I'm gonna need that. So, um, if someone watching has already played the game and uh, any of this stuff is valuable, they're probably screaming at me right now, which, you know, oh well. This is what happens when I play video games. Sometimes I make mistakes and start selling things, but I should Okay. Not really all that valuable. Gold is also not really all that valuable. Iridium is just kind of trash. Aquasphere. Okay. <laughs> These are some interesting names. But well, actually, no, gold is kind of valuable for what the hell it is. Per piece, I suppose. Let's sell all the gold. me in, in charge of reading stuff. So, let's see here. Um, well, so go see about redeeming my ship, I suppose. My super awesome pre-order ship. If I can get to it. Redeem bonus content. Redeem. Just gonna take all this stuff. Just jam it in. Can't take that. Oh no, it's over there. This pod racing looking motherfucker. More achievements! New business. Oh, okay. I made money. Depend of little designs. <laughs> More achievements! I stared at my ship and got an achievement! Look at me, how awesome I am. I got a thing for blue, too, so... Why not? Blue ships are exactly the same! Yay! Okay. So... Also, yeah, that's nice. I, uh, I needed to construct a hyperdrive. And instead of constructing the hyperdrive myself from all the components, I just I just uh, redeemed the pre-order ship, and it has a hyperdrive. Yay, skipping content! Yay, pre-order bonuses! Okay. So let's see. Um, I suppose we'll just top everything off while we're here. Technology recharge. And, uh, hmm. Warp cells. How do I make warp cells? That's not what I wanted to do. I mean warp cells. I mean thanium and antimatter. How do I make antimatter? Explain this to me. Extremely valuable for what it is, though, I suppose. Well, we got the tech, too, so let's see what we can make. But, yeah, let's randomly hop out of the ship, too, because goddamn, if I can't press the random buttons at the wrong fucking times. Um, that did, still doing it! Uh. <laughs> so, what's the stats on this thing? I don't have enough already for that. Uh, but, oh well. Yes, I do. I should. Nope, still don't have enough iridium. Well? Oh. 
I suppose now that we're here, um, that was a bit of an auspicious start, I suppose, to playing this game and my Let's Playing adventure. So, um, I suppose I'll call it, I'll call it here right now. It seems like a good place to take a break. So, uh, thank you for joining me on this wonderful start to this adventure and uh, modern recording. And uh, hopefully, we can all look back on this day and uh, giggle about how uh, incompetent I was when I started. What? Whoa. That was an interesting one. But, like I was saying, I'll be back soon, guys.